Well, the legacy of a Buffalo youth football coach who inspired his young players and his community will now go on with a unique honor. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kate Wellshofer. And I'm Michael Wooten. That tribute was formally dedicated today to Norzell Nori Aldridge. A portion of Coons Avenue near Sycamore now bears his name. His family, fellow coaches, friends, and members of the community turned out today to watch the grand unveiling of the honorary street sign and to reflect on his life that was lost in the shooting as he tried to stop a fight last summer. You could say, like father, like son. As his two-year-old son, Nero Aldridge, played catch and displayed his own pigskin prowess, other family members of coach Nozell Nori Aldridge could celebrate his life, which tragically ended at the age of 36 last September. Now they have this lasting symbol of his heroism, spirit, and impact on his family, including his young players of the champion Beast Elite Ducks team of the United Youth Football League. Especially for like our little boy here, where you know his time was cut short with his dad. He didn't get to experience him as long as everybody else did. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that we can always bring him here to remember and you know speak to him and you know, just memories and stuff like that. His passion was always football, always. From the time he was old enough to hold the football, and then for him to go into coaching, that was his passion. He loved children, so yeah. Especially, you know, the, fo the little football guys. Us as coaches, we all stick together, so it could be a kid from another team that's doing wrong, and we are corrected. You know, we, we, we have a big impact on our youth. And perhaps that's what caused Norzell Aldridge to just step in and swing a helmet at the 17-year-old shooter, who prosecutors say was trying to shoot another teen. Then the gun was turned on Aldridge. Now City Councilman Mitch Nowakowski, who arranged for this sign while working with Tina Sanders of the No More Tears group, hopes to also continue Aldridge's work seeking possible improvements like improved lighting and seats for the Emerson Park field where Aldridge coached. As a final remembrance, Aldridge's uncle sprinkled champagne on the spot of the field where his nephew was killed. An area where we come from, you know what I mean? So many lives being lost, you know what I mean? For senseless stuff, you know what I mean? Now, that's my oldest nephew, my firstborn nephew. So I think that this is gonna be a start of a lot of great things to happen around here. His spirit is certainly with yeah. all of those people and the suspect in the shooting here, 17 year old Jason Washington remains in custody on murder charges. Yeah, Washington was also charged in a previous shooting incident. He'll be back in court this coming Friday for a pretrial conference.